Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Moesha. Um, I did like a little girls talk and forgot to film like my intro, I guess. So I hope you guys I'm gonna be doing my hair because do y'all see how I'm looking right now? Like, what is going on? This is so not me. I get my hair done probably probably thursday i really think i can get my way with my stylist like i just said so like girl i need my hair done thursday and guess what she gonna do my hair thursday but y'all why i really came on here oh lord i was texting my cousin and i'm just so thankful that she felt like she can come to me with this and she was just telling me how she just been stressed and depressed and it was like life stuff. I wouldn't really tell y'all what she was stressed about, but she was just telling me how this guy she'd been dealing with for years was telling her like she was nothing. She was nothing. She never gonna be nothing. Nobody is going to want her. Men will tell you anything to get under your skin. They would literally manipulate your mind, make you feel like you can't get nobody else, honey. When it's multiple niggas out here that's way better than you. So I just hate men like that because they literally want to manipulate your mind, make you feel like you can never get better than them because they don't want you to find better than them. They talk all this slap to you, all this junk to you, and then just think that you're going to run back to them. Like, that's the whole purpose. Like, they say this and that to you to make you feel like, you know, you can't find no better than them. And you can. And you can. And that's what I was just telling her. I'm like, you know, I know it may hurt. Cry it out. Get it off your feelings or whatever. Because that's me. One thing about me, baby. I'm going to cry it out. I'm going to get it off my chest. And just let it go. Because... Life is too short. We young. We still in our 20s. Why is we sitting here letting these men scratch us out? Okay? And I'm not going to act like I'm just I always been a girl who never been scratched and stuff like that. I have. I've been really, really scratched, depressed, you know? But one thing about me, I don't stay there. That's why I feel like a lot of people. <sighs> Do I like this? Better than what it was before. But I just feel like a lot of people stay there. Like, one thing about me, I'm going to cry it out. I'm going to get it off my chest. Let you know how I feel. And I'm going to let it go because life goes on. I just feel like a lot of people just... um stay in the same spot you know be stuck in the same spot and not me i'm gonna learn from what i didn't went through and it might take some time because like you know we human you just can't turn your feelings off and be like yeah i'm down with this nigga i ain't never been with this nigga again i ain't never such and such because you gonna take that nigga back let me stop saying nigga, y'all, but y'all know. Y'all get it. You're going to take that man back. You're going to be stupid. But when you finally, like, done, when you're finally done mentally, hold on, you guys. I'm trying to get myself together. I'm trying to get my stuff together and I can't even get my stuff together. When you're finally done mentally, it's over with. I don't care if you stay there physically. If you're done mentally, you're done. Like, I feel like as women, we all just sit there and deal with a lot of shit so we can't deal with it no more. Like, we just, you know, take them back cry about it, be sad about it, do this, do that, but 
once you're done, you're done. For me, anyway. Once I'm done, I'm done. It's over with. I ain't no more coming back. It ain't nothing you can say. It ain't nothing you can do. It's done. And I just really hate that she's feeling that type of way. Like, she can't get no better than him. Like, letting him put her down. Because that's what men gonna do. That's what men want to do to you. They want you to feel like you can't find no better than them. They want to manipulate your mind. you And we just be giving them the control over us to do so. But nah, ladies, stand up. Stop being weak in the knees. Stand up. Stand up. We ain't letting these niggas do us like this. 2022, 2023. Because we still kind of letting them do it to us. <laughs> 2023, we ain't taking no nigga bullshit. Let me stop cussing. But, yeah, I just really hate that she's feeling that way. I hate it. Like, it might take some time, but I feel like we all gonna find our one. Everybody gonna find their one. There's somebody out there for everybody. You know, and even if you like her, she's still dealing with him. Once he completely out of her life, that's when God going to give you what you've been missing. That's when everything going to fall into place, when he going to bring you the one that supposed to be there from since day one in your life. Like, I seen a video that was like, you just holding on to so much. What was it saying? You just holding on to everything, like everybody, every situation, every feelings. You can't even catch what God is giving to you because your hands is full. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like your hands is full. You can't even get your blessing that you deserve because you just holding on to everything else. Like you just got to learn how to let go or whatever. So, I just really hope she find the peace that she need. And I'm still, you know, we all still going through things. We all still, you know, got our ups and downs with life. It's life. Nothing's going to be perfect. But like I was telling her, is nothing lasts forever. Like, everything is temporary. I didn't been through shit that I just felt like. Oh, my God, my life is over. I'm never going to get over this. Oh, my God. And it's not over. And you got you to gotta want better for yourself. That's also what I was telling her. You got to want better. If you just sitting here, just sad right now for the moment, just, you know, and then be right back with them or whatever. Like, you got to want better for yourself. If you want better for yourself, you know... Go after it. You don't have to be in this situation. That's what I'm just learning myself. You don't have to be in this situation. You do not have to be stressed out. You do not have to cry. Like, we don't understand it. We control our life. Like, we don't have to put up with the things we put up with. We choose to put up with things that we... We choose to put up with these type of things. We don't have to deal with this. Like... And I'm not just saying go out here and just say, ah, oh, if everybody, I'm cutting everybody off because it's going to take time. It's not going to be that easy. Like I was telling her, it's not going to be that easy for you to just, you know, let go. It's going to take some time. You're going to be sad. You're going to cry. You're going to, you know, feel all these emotions. Like I was telling her, feel it. Feel it. I want you to feel everything. Cry it out. Girl, I don't care. <laughs> Girl, do whatever you want to do to get over this type of situation. Literally, like, me, I'm cried out. And once that cried out, it's done. So, like, you know, feel every emotion that you're feeling. We human. 
You know, we all have been through these type things. But don't stay there. That's what's going on with a lot of, of this generation. We stay there. Don't stay there. Okay? Pull yourself up out that um situation, girl. You a bad bitch. Me letting these men make you feel sad. Because guess what? I'm not feeling sad. I'm that girl. I'm that girl. I'm that girl. Look in the mirror and say, you that girl. I'm that girl. You that girl. We that girl. We the shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's like sometimes you just got to look at yourself and say, I'm that girl. I'm not putting up with nobody. Bullshit. I'm her. I'm her. Okay. These niggas don't, they're men to be hitting on nothing anyway. You ain't hitting on nothing anyway. And like you gonna come stress and control my life and tell me I'm not finding nobody better. I am. Today. No, I'm sweating. But um, yes, y'all. I guess I'm just gonna go with this little ponytail tomorrow. <sighs> It don't look all of that. But guess what? I get my hair done in a couple of days. So, mind your business. I wanted to come and talk about that. Wow. I was fixing my hair up. Because I know in the morning, I'm not going to want to do nothing to this head, child. And I don't want to go to work looking like a bum. Which I'm still is kind of looking like a bum. But y'all seen how I was looking at first. Like I was saying, you guys, um, if you're in this type of situation, I'm not going to act like I'm in the best situation ever. I'm never here to judge anybody because we all done went through shit. But I'm learning to pull myself out of type of situations. Like, I was in a situation so bad, y'all. I just focused on myself. Like, and that's when I... Group, I got my YouTube channel. I started getting paid off YouTube. Like, I put all the energy I was putting into other people, into myself. And that's the best thing you can ever do. Like, yeah. But, y'all, I really want to do Vlogtober. Comment down below, like, what type of content should I do? Don't leave a comment down below what type of content I should do. I'm not... You know, pressuring nobody to want to watch me without cornstarch. I'm doing what I want to do. It's new month. It's a new month, new beginnings, new opportunities, and just how I ran my channel up the first time. I ran my channel up again with people who genuinely want to watch me in my life. Like, thanks for the ones who are supporting me. To the ones who ain't. No, I'm just playing. But, yes, y'all. Um, I think I'm going to do Vlogtober. I'm going to come up with something. And I didn't miss, what, day one and day two. So, can this be day three? If you're here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like these type of videos, you guys, comment down below and let me know. So, I can do more Girl Talk videos. Comment down below some situations like that you're been in and if you want me to speak on it because i will baby i'm a talker and yes i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video and i'm about to be consistent as ever i'm not taking no two-week break at all i'm on it okay and i love you guys and bye